Welcome back to more Witchspring R, everybody. In the last episode, we were here in the Dragon Valley, and we definitely figured out a lot of different things that we can do. Oh my god. Can I beat this guy? Zirconia Dragon. Let's do it. Let's start. I don't know what this guy's strength. Oh, shoot. He seems, he seems a little crazy, not gonna lie. Like, that strength seems kind of unmeasurable, but we'll see. I get it, because it's that unmeasurable strength. Okay, let's summon you. I don't know. We should summon some more, right? It really just lets you summon as many as you want. Like, what the hell? Okay. Um, well, definitely... Actually, I should probably have done something else. Well, this guy definitely has less health than the other one. Oh my god, that is powerful, though. I do have to be careful. Okay, let's see. That's right. Do some damage. Okay, cool. I have magic shield, which has not been... Uh, I don't know. Let's see. What should I do here? Should I do... What's a really good item? This one? Yeah, go ahead and do that one. Because... Um, he's not going to attack. Yeah, so... I definitely should try... Should I do lightning? No, I should probably keep doing fire. I don't want to use my shield yet. It just doesn't make sense to do it yet. <clears throat> yeah, then I'll have everybody else do their attacks. Cool, cool. Nice. Nice little double hit right there. Okay, now it's my turn again. Alright, so this time, I'm going to magic shield. And then I'll do Aro's arrow to do some... Some pretty decent damage here with this. Hopefully, I'm gonna do 5,000. I did not, I did 3,500. Great. Hmm. Okay. So I get, um. No, I don't wanna do that yet still. We're just gonna keep doing this. I mean, might as well. He's gonna attack me. I have magic shield on, so I shouldn't take too much crazy damage here, but we'll see. He's also taking 1119 per burn. Okay, now I'm gonna let my allies do all the work. <clears throat> Alright, so he's just about half dead here after this attack. He should be. Magic shield has been removed, that's fine. Uh, now I think it's time for Aimheart's Absolute Defense. Because I can't actually, should I? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. And we're also gonna do Earth Orb. How much will this do? 7165, not bad. Alright, he's gonna get an attack now. I can defend. Oh, you missed! You actually missed. That's perfect. I can do some more damage to you. <laughs> 280. Yeah, okay. Okay, now my allies get a bunch of hits. Cool. And now me, I still have Aim Harp's Absolute Defense. I can do the Gravity Field now if I wanted to. Let's actually, oh, there's already a Blessing, that's right, okay. Um, I mean, that's fine. We'll just keep attacking normally then. He's about at that one quarter mark now. Gravity field is ready. I don't have my shield anymore, which is kind of concerning. So, I need to do another one of these. It's for the good health recovery. And then we're going to do magic shield for sure. And then the gravity field. Now let's do a flame orb. That is such a good ability, the gravity field, because it really did alter the amount of damage that... Or not the amount of damage, but the, the speed and like the turns that the other dragon was doing. And now, look at this. I can do so much. Oh my god. I think... I think Justice is hit. Well, she do the killing blow, no? That's it. How much XP from this? A thousand. And I got Zirconia. Yeah, what I get from this? Wait, that's it? Are you serious? 
There's like literally nothing else over here. How suspicious. No, there's an item over here at least. Zirconia dragon egg. Is that like a... I don't know. What is that considered? Special? Okay, I'm sure that's for something. We'll figure it out eventually, but I got the dragon egg. Okay, so there was a reason for this at least. Okay, what do I need to go now to advance? Death Squad Lair. Okay, let's go ahead and teleport now. Um. Wait, Death Squad Lair is uh, right here. Yes, let's teleport. Okay. Now we can do this. Ooh, I'm at four for training as well. I should definitely go back there after I do this stuff here so I can up my stats a little bit more. That, that would be a good thing to do. Where do I go now? Here? I'm wondering something. Oh? The sword you're holding is not an ordinary sword, is it? Blue Stinger, it's an ancestral treasure that's been handed down to the generations. Oh, so can you wield a magic sword like Justice? What are you talking about? Justice doesn't use magical swords. To be precise, in such cases, it's more accurate to say that a magic sword manipulates the wielder. After all, there's no way for humans to handle magic, right? Rina is human too. I've been able to handle this magic sword since birth, because the family heads of the Rookvilles are half-bloods, or her. Vergbella, sorry, or half-bloods who know how to wield a bit of magic. Half-bloods? Are you talking about mixed-blood deities? The half-bloods are beings much closer to humans than mixed-bloods. There are very few in number, though. Of course, we can't control magic to the extent of emitting light or conjuring flames in our hands like you deities. But when it comes to bending magically imbued objects to our will, that's completely doable. Well, now you know exactly why I said I'm different from justice, don't you? Oh, oh. Then the Rookbelly family must have been a great family in a human world. It was... past tense? Because that's a thing of the past. My family was wiped out by the Pope because of his magical sword. Wow, could it be just because your family knew how to handle a bit of magic? But there's no need to wipe them out completely. By the way, the magical sword the Pope made is modeled after the Blue Stinger. I saw everything clearly when I suffered through the experiments in the Pope's castle. Ah, so you were also experimented on by the Pope. Right, but luckily I escaped, although sooner or later I'll make my way back to the Pope. I didn't know that you had a story like that. Members of the Death Squad don't usually share their personal stories with each other to keep their family safe, but my entire family was executed, so I can talk freely. Oh, can I ask you a favor? Sure, ask away. Three days, or did I say three days? These days, I feel like the Blue Stinger's magic is quite the way it should be. I was regularly replenishing the sword's power with magical material, but recently I've been too busy with the Death Squad. Aha, uh -huh, I'll find them for you. What do you need? Well, Light Nosferus Horn would be fine. When I settled in the Elysium Plain, his horns were quite effective. Alright, I'll be right back. Huh. So I guess that's where... I have to go. Hmm. Well, before that though, can I just like... Wait, how, how do I advance... The story here? Or can... Should I even keep advancing? I'm not even sure if that's the correct thing to do because... What if this warps me, warps me somewhere to like the point of no return? I mean, I don't know. Okay, Piper told everything to Verstein. Cool, cool. I'm glad you made it back safely. That was an extremely dangerous situation. They are being checked for tracking devices. Okay, I didn't detect any suspicious magic on her body. Oh, right. Matt wanted me to give you this. He was in the dungeon with me. Huh. Current status of the palace giant golem maximizes performance of a golem by injecting magic into its power source beyond its limits. This gives the golem's magic cannon an extremely powerful blast range and power. Great weapon weakness. The power source produces extreme heat due to excessive performance modifications. As a result, the power source is exposed on the outside of the body. The time it takes to condense energy before firing is proportional to the power of the magic cannon. Enemy response. 
However, the Pope is aware of this. Expect a great weapon to fire short bursts of explosive power before destroying the exposed power source. The weaknesses of all the Pope's weapons, and that never disappoints. He says the Pope's golem has an external power source. Why would they make it so vulnerable? Still, the golem is too large for us to approach easily. We'll need a plan. Don't worry about that. No, it's you. Kana. 001 and 002 are fixed and ready to go. That was fast. It was only really possible because you got me Dad's engine. You should read this document too, Kana. Hmm, I see. The Pope's Golem is designed to push its combat performance to the absolute limit. But since they generate significant heat, they have no choice but to make the power source external for cooling. I'm sure the Pope is aware of its obvious weaknesses and has taken precautions. Will it be possible for you to shoot the weak point with your cannons? Of course, there's no place my cannonballs can't reach. The Pope's stupid weapons won't know what hit him. Good. If we can deal with the Pope's great weapon, we'll have a huge advantage over the warriors. So, are we really about to go to war? We need to move fast. The Pope has learned where we are and must have some idea of our plans. Intelligence indicates that warriors from across the continent are converging on his castle. But it will take time for him to organize his forces. We, on the other hand, are already combat ready. The operation will begin in four days. I'll let you know the final infiltration route on the day of the operation. Okay. Four days, huh? Shivering all over. Such a baby, Black. So don't, don't worry, I'll protect you. And Justice, you gotta trust me too, okay? Don't patronize me. I know war much better than you. Okay, get ready. Hey, what? Can I ask you a favor? What's this? The great justice needing favors? What could I possibly do for you? There's no need to be like that. I want you to help me go to the warrior mausoleum in Zavalia Village. I'd like to go by myself, but I can't exactly walk through the village with my current status. If it's the warrior mausoleum, it must be about visiting your father's grave, right? Yes, I'd like to see him before the war starts. And I'll be glad, I'll be glad to help. Does it get on the north side of town? So we should be able to get through here. Okay, I'll summon you as soon as I arrive. Thank you. Investigate Heroes Haven? Um, okay. Uh, let's see now. One thing I do want to do though is... Okay, that's that really good item, right? I, I think so, because... Lightning Dragon Horn. Oh my god, these things increase by so much. Okay. So... What I'm gonna do... There's something way over there also. Yeah, wh where do I even, um... Go exactly. I mean, I'm sure it has to be somewhere in the village, right? But anyway, um... Yeah, that's strange. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We need to go over to... I'm gonna go to Redbeard's Lair. I have to see something. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. And I'm gonna exit from here exactly. I didn't mean to do that. This place was that long? Jeez, okay. Um, yeah, it actually... Gotta open it every single time, huh? Okay. I don't remember this pathway being that long in Redbeard's Lair. Uh, so I'm doing this because I also thought that I, I remembered something incorrectly here, but... What the hell? Got so many warriors. High ranking with giant weapons. Hmm. They must be guarding the guardian animal of the Durak Temple on itself. Anyway, let's avoid a confrontation here. Uh oh. 
Okay. So that's just the game's way of blocking you out. I see. I see. Okay. So I do remember this. But obviously I never did anything here. No, there's nothing here. There's nothing to do here yet. Okay, so this means that I'm gonna have to do the other thing first. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Oh, did he just let me? The ability abandoned mine. Oh, okay. Okay, let's go. Um, yeah, we're gonna go over here. I think this will definitely be important to do. And then I believe I did try going. Up this way. I'm going to be honest, I actually don't remember. Did I try this? I almost want to say that yes, I did try this, but I actually don't know for sure. Oh wait, no I didn't. Mind control possible. Okay. Well, definitely um, dismiss. Yeah, of course. Let's, uh, yeah, let, let's fight you. Okay, so I can pretty much only use one ability here, and that's Mind Control Circle, because if I do anything else, I could kill it, even with, like, a physical attack or something. It's too dangerous. Yeah, see? Alright, so I hope that it lets me capture it right now. There we go. Succeeded. I got a new friend. Tia Re Yeah, so I guess I never did go there. I, somehow I missed that completely, but alright. That's cool. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to summon you again. We're going to go right in here. Mm, sure, I'll touch this. Just for the hell of it. And we'll keep going. Alright, so the specific thing that I have to do here... Is go right up this way. I am going to... Oh, Tia Reese and Tia Reet. How interesting. Let me feed you. Ugly bird meat is what you like. Okay, and this once again shows that I have built max affinity with every single one of these, which is really cool. The fact that I, you know, have that much. Okay, uh, let's start the combat here. Sure, you can attack the middle one. Yeah, well, we have to fight this thing to, I believe, get through to where we actually want to go. We'll attack that one to make sure we kill the others. So I'm to do one attack. That's perfectly fine by me. And that's it. Hercules Stone and Clear Crystal. Okay, great. Let's keep going. Oh, shoot. It's not ready yet. Dang, and I like just came here too. That's still gonna take a bit of time. How unfortunate. Yeah, but that's definitely the one I have to kill. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the light, lightning rosserous, whatever, because these other ones are only gonna give me regular ones. Which is like, not a huge deal. I'm still gonna fight one just for some experience, but... 
Yeah, not ideal. Or sorry, I didn't mean experience. You're the girl thinking like, what? I meant drops. For drops. Okay, so we have to go to Hero's Haven then. Um, sure, I don't, I don't really know where the heck Hero's Haven is, but I'm assuming it would be somewhere like... Would it be over there? I mean, probably. Let's go to Elysian Temple. One other place that I never really went to is this way, right? Be well, like beyond this temple, I mean. Like... Obviously I need to go up north. But what was... Oh wait, no, I do know what was over there, actually. It, w it just led to like a dead end. Like it just had like a treasure chest or something and then that's it. So no, never mind. I think we're done here. We're gonna try to... I, I assume I have to go this way to advance the story. It doesn't really tell me too much about Hero's Haven. Father's Grave, Hero's Haven. I am disguised again. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so, uh, where the heck is, uh... This place? Okay, so past it is Rocky Hill. I remember there being multiple locations that I could go through in here. So like... This is a place that I don't... Is this where I went to? I remember there being like two exits or something. Let's see what's in here. No, this is Rocky Hill, which is back over there. Okay, I see. So no, we don't want to go here. Let's try going... Probably up there at the top right, because I don't think... Yeah, I can't do anything in here. And I don't recall there being some kind of thing over here in the top left corner, right? Um, no. Okay, I'm gonna assume the place in which I can advance is by going to the top right. Oops, right this way. If it's not, I'm gonna have to look this up because I don't know where else to go. Oh, yeah, that's correct. Hero's Haven. Okay. I did it. Um, what is over here? Anything? There is not. There's a bunch of graves here. Is this the one? Alright. Should be out of sight of the humans by now. Hey, Justice. Father, it has been too long. I'd always come here to promise you I'd end the witch hunts. But that promise means something different now, because I will end the witch hunts by killing the Pope. And if I die, my allies will fulfill the same goal for me. When did you lose your father? When I was seven, my father suddenly disappeared just before the Spring War. I didn't learn of his death until much later. The Pope's castle told me that he had been involved in a raid in the Spring. I resented my father a little bit for that. Even if it was a secret operation, he could still have said something. Then her goodbye need not have been so hollow. Pope! I detected your magic and came to see you, child of prophecy. You managed to slip through my fingers last time. I won't lie, it was the most painful moment of my life. Is Crown dead? Ah, if only. But Justice, are you so sure Liam really said 
Nothing? Keep my father's name out of your filthy mouth. Don't need to get so worked up. I'm not here to fight. Shut up. I'll make this a place for your grave. Yeah, you shouldn't just approach him like that. That's not going to work. Livia. He's still under powerful mind control. You must have many questions for me, Justice. I had originally planned to have you killed, but circumstances have changed my plans. If you can find me at the castle, I'll tell you everything you want to know. But there's a catch. You must bring the Child of Prophecy with you. What are you planning? You're trying to lure me to Aramid Spring because you can't fight me here. Fine, I'll admit it. Without the power of the spring, it would be difficult to subdue you and your blessings. But what do you mean by Child of Prophecy? Before Aramir died, he prophesied that a little girl would bring us down. That's how the witch hunt began. To find you, Lucia, the child of prophecy that Aramid spoke of. What? The witch would just started to started to find me? But now it's different. All I have to do is wait for you to come to me. You seek the blessings and all that remains is that of Aramid, am I correct? So you'll just wait for me to go to Aramid Spring? We're bound to clash eventually, so why not settle it peacefully? Peacefully? Lucia, be my executor. Are you out of your mind? If you come to me, I'll stop the witch hunts immediately and I'll improve treatment of deities. What do you say? It's the only way to ensure that no more blood will be shed. It's so obvious to only become worse if you control me. Is that nonsense all you came here to say? Huh. I am being honest, Lucia. Fine then. I'll just have to wait. In front of the Aramid Spring and a final blessing you covet. He came here to talk nonsense and then just disappeared? Ignore him. We'll strike the Pope as planned. I agree with Justice. It's best to just shrug off such provocations. Right. I know. Alright then, if we're finally ready for war, let's go see Verstein. I mean... Definitely seems that we should... For sure do that. Um, yeah, there's not really much else in these areas here. Um, one more thing I'm going to do is, uh, where is, let's see here, I'm trying to remember this. There's just so many goddamn temples everywhere, you know? Okay, I do believe it's here. Um, if I go into... Uh, what's the fastest way? Probably Merchant's Road. Also, don't I have, like, money? If I have money, I can buy stuff, but I also don't even think it's worth doing it then. I only have 10,000. That's not nearly... enough. Oh my god, I can do this. Your request for goods office increase. Ralph's goods have been delivered to the Pope's castle. Don't forget that this means some warriors have had their equipment enhanced. Enhanced heroes have new equipment. Oh. Okay. Cool. Um, not bad. Pretty good stuff, actually. Sure, we got plenty of this stuff, so... Might as well do it, you know? I don't have enough of this one though. Carry go tail. I can do the legendary pudding one. And I can also buy a, mm, some pretty decent stuff here, I would say. I'll keep the rest for now. Just in case, because sometimes I'm not really sure if I should. Increases max MP by 15. I'll hold on to these for a little bit. Some of these I just feel like maybe I should. Wait, because if I find like a different staff or something, that might actually be better. Like to, you know, put in new equipment rather than using that stuff 
on other things on, on like just pure stats I don't know we'll see but um let's go up here because remember that one thing this battle right here I don't know if I can still do this it almost seems like it's a battle that like is impossible until maybe it's you know story locked or something We'll try it, I suppose, but... Yes, yeah, they have like some kind of blessing. And I don't think... That this is gonna do anything. Hmm. Oh wait, the burn actually is hitting them. I just realized. Wait, what? Here, let's try this. I, I didn't even realize it until like right now, literally. Yeah, but that other one did take burn damage, so hold on. What the hell just happened? No, it wasn't actually burn damage. I'm not sure what happened. But I definitely should have been paying attention. Wait. No, no, something... Is the shield down? Oh, the shield is down now. Okay. So maybe you just have to do like enough damage or something? Yeah, the shield is gone now, which means we've won this battle. I got some love antlers. I don't know what exactly. What is this? There's a crack in the barrier. The dark magic here is very strong. The dark magic I found the shipwreck was nothing compared to this. Could it be? You know something, don't you? It seems that the deer you took down were guarding that barrier. This is the gap in the barrier where Aimheart sealed the nightmare. The nightmare? What's that? The nightmare is a dark warrior who once ravaged a lock. Whether Aimheart sealed it away instead of killing it. No matter how strong it was, Aimheart is a temple lord. Lack of power isn't the reason he couldn't defeat the nightmare. But there are some things that are impossible even for temple lords. Really, what could be impossible for a temple lord? Extinguishing dark magic once and for all. Dark magic really is a nuisance. It can't be dealt with by magic. Hmm. So that's why even Aimheart could only seal the dark warrior. But now, have I created something extremely dangerous? You don't have to worry about that. When the deer wake up, the scab will be closed again. Really? Ooh, that's a lot off my mind. I guess? I don't really know what the heck to expect here, but... Nightmare Cave. One of Aimhar's bears is here too. He really is cautious. It's proof of how dangerous a being this nightmare is. There will never be any gap in the bear like this. Hmm. But the bear is exactly the same as the blessing I received from Aimhard. Do you think that means I can move through it? Hmm. Oh my god. Yeah, that's crazy, huh? The very first dark warrior of ancient Alak who has absorbed the dark magic. That is crazy. Did it really say 420,000? Jesus, I'm going to have to look this up later on how to fight that. Because clearly I can't right now. But that is one thing that I was very curious about. Um, well, now that I've done that, I mean, it's pretty much uh, finishes off everything else that I needed to kind of do here. I'm at 34 minutes now. Which means, yeah, I mean, I've just about finished... Oh, max training possible, huh? Okay, you know what? Yeah, let's go back. Gotta teleport home. I'm also not sure if I can do higher magics. Let, let's take a look to see. Crack 
craft. Mm. Doesn't sound like it, no. What about like a... Uh... Ice magic? I can't do a five pillar. Also, this is significantly stronger than the previous one. I can do a six pillar ice, actually. 100 plus 100% of magic. That is significantly better, I would say. I guess we can do it. I mean, hold on a sec. Let's just make sure here. What about lightning? Okay. I can make some dark magic stuff. Forgeable equipment? No. Alright, let's do the ice one. We're gonna crop this one. Okay, cool. And then we're gonna go into combine. That is a significant boost in strength. 13, 98 times 6. MP cost is 96. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, Alright, next up is some training. What else should I do? Probably some magic and stuff. Yeah, we're going to do that one. Let's do... That one's like all around. Sure. Let's do this one. Uh, yes. Let's see what I, what I got. What the hell is this? Have I done this one before? I don't know if I have. Meditation. Oh, I see. Just gotta be fast. Okay. It's pretty simple, yeah. Alright, well, that's good. I got a perfect bonus. There we go. Very nice. Very awesome. Okay, uh, next up. Let's actually go to sleep. Run some errands, dude. Um, I need... I don't freaking know. Just pick whatever, right? I suppose. Uh, sure. Let's sleep. Okay. All good. And now it's time to teleport. Hopefully this has given enough time now for this. I really gotta get that lightning rosserous thing, whatever the heck it's called. That'll be important for sure. This also means that I may have to face, face that boss again. Oh, they're gone. Okay, that's good. How much time has passed for this one? Hmm, it's beyond half. This should definitely be enough time, right? I feel like it should be. Yeah, okay. That's good. That's very good. Alright, let's do this. Start the combat. Okay, yeah, you can attack the middle one. I'm gonna use Pyberry to um, clear out... Yeah, that. I yeah, can beat your little minions. Huh? 
Okay. Uh, let's try this good ice one. Let's see how much damage it does. It hit five times, roughly about 5,000 damage then, which is not bad. Do it again? Sure. It's pretty decent damage, actually. And then it shows that you're frozen, now you're burned. Burned again. I mean, I can do it one more time and you're basically dead, because that and then the burn will definitely be enough damage. Oh yeah, much more damage this time. That's it. Okay, I got the thing that I needed, I'm pretty sure. Now we are free... ...to teleport out of here. Into that squad lair, here we go. And we have to go back here anyway, for the main quest as well, but... We'll do this other thing first. Okay, you. Yes. Here, right back a light, light, nor, light, noceris, sorry, horn. Then I'll try to replenish the sword's magic. No. Hmm. The magic absorption went well, but the sword still isn't responding well. So it seems the succession ceremony is really necessary. Succession ceremony? When we ascend to the position of head of the family, we have to go to the succession ceremony in front of the Rookville's monument. Only after undergoing that ritual can the magical power of the sword be properly expressed. However, my family was shattered, so I still haven't had the succession ceremony. Where is the monument? Behind the waterfall on Rocky Hill, it's beyond the Pope's castle, but it's only possible to succeed if I go there myself. How about if Rainer dresses up like me? Captain, I have a good idea. What? Piper can summon you in front of the monument, you just need to stand up the top of the magic circle. Oh, that's quite a good idea, Rena. I'll summon you in front of the monument. Thank you, I really appreciate it. There's a small cave behind the waterfall on Rocky Hill. That's where our family monument is. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and, um, yeah, we're gonna go over there now, so... Um, this is what I was leaning to before, so the easiest way is that, you know, you go into Redbeard's lair. And then we're gonna run through this really long pathway again. Okay, and then here you go. We gotta use this key over here. Open that up. Alright, and here we are. I believe this is the fastest way to get there. I don't know of any other faster way. But, that's what we're doing. Okay, so here we have to summon our water friend again. Just in case I'll summon justice. I don't know if this is, you know, going to be a fight or something. Oh, okay. It hit, it hit justice. Raina said it's family's monument. Uh, yes, that's correct. Raina Rookville, I come to honor my ancestors. Sadly, the 30... the 30... the 32th? Is that... isn't 32 32nd? Not 32th? I don't know. The 32th head of the family was killed by the Pope and was unable to make their way to this monument with their ancestors. 
As a successor to the 32th head of the family, I now intend to perform the succession ceremony of the 33th head of the family. See, I thought 33 was 33rd, but okay. Please understand that it is not possible to hold the ceremony in a grand manner due to the circumstances. Wow, Raina's magic sword is strong? Oh my, that's quite a bit of magic. The Rickle family. Now I'm curious who is the first, or who the first head of the family was. Dear ancestors, thank you for granting me that honor of succession. I will fulfill the responsibility as a 33rd of the family head. Bless me, please. It worked. Blue Stinger's power has fully returned. The granting of power at the sacred stone implies that someday it must also be given back. Right, when the heads of Rookbills reach the end of their lives, they all return to find their eternal rest at this monument. Then, the body and magical power of the family had are reclaimed by this monument, and then the magical power is bestowed upon the next. Their successor. When a succession ceremony is over, this blue stinger responds to the successor's magic and begins to manifest its strength once more. Oh, hey, that's a Pokemon. Is it possible to succeed even if your father's magic has not been restored? Right, that's because my father, who's a 32nd family head, was killed by the Pope. In order to prevent such a tragedy from happening again, the souls of the ancestors were gathered into this monument. But it would have been better if you had received the approval of your father, right? Yes, how nice it would have been if my father had also found this eternal rest at his mo at this monument. It saddens me. But Piper, thanks to you, I'm standing in front of the monument again. This is a token of my appreciation. For Billy Crest? Okay. What is it? It's our family coat of arms. It is a legacy of a family endowed with lightning magic. Then isn't it very precious to you? It will be much more useful to a deity like you than it is to me. Right now, winning the war is more important than the meaning of legacy. Winning the war would be the only way to suit the, the sorrow of the House Forkville family. Thank you, Louisa, carefully. Okay. So now... I think what you're supposed to do now you've done that is I'm pretty sure you have to equip that weak ass sword or whatever. Also, do I have no I can't do anything. Maybe you have to like zone out or something. Honestly, I'm not really sure how this works, but We'll try it. We're going to zone out. And then zone back in. Oh, wait, there we go. We're going to stuck her sword here. But don't you recognize the symbol on that gravestone? Hmm, I do, but where from? But this sword. It's a lightning elemental sword, so if I plug it in here like Reina's sword, wouldn't something amazing happen? Reina's sword has been passed down to the generations, that's why it reacted. Not just any sword will work. Huh. Like, huh? Oh, it actually reacted. Lightning Blade. Don't tell me, the first generation of House Rookville. Do you know something? No, I just wondered if the first head of the House Rookville might have been the master of the Lightning Dragon. So that means I'm now the master of the ancient Lightning Dragon? What? Where'd you get that nonsense idea from? It reacted to me like some kind of succession ceremony, just like with Reina. Now I can summon the ancient Lightning Dragon too. Do you think it will even come if you do? The sword's magic spreads in the sky and summons an ancient Lightning Dragon. The summon ancient lightning dragon creates lightning bolts at a random point around a specified location. Whoa. Also, what are the stats on this? Like, is it stronger now or what? I mean... Yes, the answer is yes if you're going the physical route. The thing is, I've been using a lot more magical things. Also, that's plus 100 speed. Like, that's kind of crazy. 
Yes, my magic is overall lower, but it is a substantial difference in strength. I don't know if I should, like, do it. Oh my god, more speed with the crest? Yeah, because right now I have increased agility plus 5. When the heck did I get this? When the turn ends, restores a certain amount of the consumed MP. Oh. Well, I should probably equip that, yes. Uh, this one's what? Oh, I see. Yeah, I don't know. I have my sword now. I don't know about the, you know, the correct call, but... I can for sure try it. We'll see. Okay. Okay. So now, it is time to go talk to Verstein, I think. Who should be, I believe, over here. There's no way back once the war starts. You better make sure you have the tools you need for battle while you still can. You cannot journey to other regions while infiltrating the Pope's castle, but you may give up at any time and return to home. After giving up, if you wish to continue infiltrating at the same point, you may do so by talking to Verstein. Oh, I see. So, this is where... I mean, I guess I've made it to the end of the game, right? I I think so. Um, I mean, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. If... If there's something, I mean, I know there's a post game in this game as well. Like, there's definitely stuff that I can do. So, it's fine. It's all good, right? I think. Death Squad Lair. The Pope's Castle can be infiltrated through three routes. First, all members of the Breakthrough Division, except for the Infiltration Team. Irene will summon the Breakthrough Division of the entrance to the Valley Village. Their mission is to draw as many troops out of the Pope's Castle as possible. With Matt's Golem joining us, there's no need to fear the Pope's great weapon. Something will take no time at all. I've had plenty of practice. The only thing we need is the Pope's head. So avoid making any unnecessary sacrifices and try not to kill too many of the enemies. Because when this war is over, those who are enemies today will be our neighbors tomorrow. Kana, delay our men from needing to come into the direct conflict with the palace's forces as long as possible. Leave it to me. I'll make sure I don't get within even the stone's throw of our camp. We'll protect Irene and support the rear. That's reassuring. The infiltration team will be split into two groups. First, the aqueduct team will consist of Reyna and our two fastest members. You will join the abandoned mine team in the lobby of the Pope's castle. You can rely on us. Justice, how many troops will Reyna encounter in the underground aqueduct? There are no warriors stationed there since it's inhabited by demons. So you just need to avoid them and run to the lobby as fast as you can. When you reach it, just wait in front of the door. The warriors will have anticipated you coming that way and will, will be waiting inside. Finally, the abandoned mine team will consist of myself, Justice, and Pieberry. We will attempt to enter via the dungeon from the railroad tracks of the abandoned mine. I escaped that way not too long ago. Won't they have increased security there? Of course they'll have it well protected, but that will also make them extra careless. There's a limit to how many troops they can fit in the confined space down there. We'll take advantage of that and break through with the overwhelming force in one full swoop. Reyna should take advantage of that too. Yes, as soon as there's any disturbance, we'll move in and join the fight. If we succeed in capturing the lobby, the aqueduct team will free Matt and the prisoners and retreat back to camp. Freeing prisoners? We don't have time for that. We have an insider who will have them already aim or already primed for escape. We just need to breach the dungeon and they'll be able to safely escape out of the same way we came in. You have an insider? You really prepared thoroughly. Once the prisoners are out, Reyna will join us and we will advance on the Pope. Thank you. I'll be sure to drive my sword straight through his heart. No, I will be the one to capture the Pope. Stay out of my way. So it's a race. It is, is it? Come on, everybody. The passion of youth. All right, let's get started. Okay. I mean, sounds crazy, you know? Maybe I should have saved the game before I, you know, did this. Also, I should have upgraded my sword. I feel like that would have been a good idea to do so, no?
What the heck? We're under the Death Squad's attack. Hey, are those Matt's golems I've heard so much about? Sounds like it. As expected, the enemy appears to have anticipated our strategy. They're spreading out wine in preparation for shelling from my golems. Can you do it, Kana? Don't worry, my shells don't care for formations. Maybe we can try to get close. Advanced great weapon. It will be difficult to strike a golem's exposed power source if it's moving. No oh, man. Making a cheap knockoff. What the heck? How could the great weapon have turned out so powerless? Artillery, prepare to fire. All units concentrate firing the golem's exposed cockpit. What? Irene, you're the best. That barrier will keep you safe. The strength of the death squad far exceeds our expectations. We need reinforcements from the castle. That's more like it. Defend the golems in the front and keep a supply of shells to come in the rear. Once they call for reinforcements, the castle should be emptied. So it begins. I look forward to seeing how much you've grown, Liam. And you, daughter of the prophecy, you are finally coming to me. Will you be the one to fulfill this duty, or will it be me? Shivering with nerves. This will work, right? You look excited. Because when the witch hunt is over, I'll be able to meet my mom. Justice, you're the eldest son at House Bernard, are you not? Indeed. The patriarch of your house was famous. He died in the Spring War, didn't he? My father was a great warlord, respected by all warriors. Huh, the Pope did a pretty good job with that one. Are you okay with this, though? If you throw in the Pope, will stain your father's reputation. My family taking the right path is far more important than the honor. On the contrary, I'm sure my father will be cheering me on from heaven. I'm sure he's just as spirits with the Pope as I am. 